Okay, um, today we'll discuss um, the introduction in anatomy and physiology. Before that, let's talk about first um, the basic functions of an organism. Okay, first is organization. Okay, organization from cell to an organism. Okay, it needs to have an organization. It needs to have cell, tissue, organ, organ system to be an organism. Okay. Next is responsiveness. Okay. An organism should be responsive or can respond to a stimuli. Okay. It reacts. It responds. Okay. Next is growth and differentiation. An organism such as animals, plants, and humans, they are um, a living organism and so they grow. Okay? They grow and differentiate. Okay? Their cells differentiate, for example, um, from a stem cell, it develops into a muscle cell or a nerve cell or a skeletal muscle, such as that. And then, reproduction. It should be capable of reproducing, okay? Or producing another of its kind. Next is the ability to move or movement, okay? Next is uh, movement. It's either um, growth movement or motility, okay? Next is metabolism and excretion excretion i mean okay metabolism um the ability to convert um energy okay from what it's eat or what it eats next um, the specialties of anatomy, okay? We'll now dive into the anatomy. Anatomy can be divided into gross and microscopic. First, we have the forms of gross anatomy, okay? Surface anatomy. Surface anatomy is the study of external features, okay? Of the body of an animal. In birds, it is termed as topography okay surface anatomy deals with the anatomical features that can be studied by sight okay yung nakikita without dissection okay as such it is a branch of gross anatomy okay along with endoscopy and radiological anatomy Next is regional anatomy. Okay? Regional anatomy is the study of anatomy based on regions or divisions of the body and emphasizing the relations between various structures such as um, muscles and nerves and arteries in that region. Say, for example, in your brain. Okay? What are... Um, the relations of the skull to your brain, to the nerves, or let's say, for example, in your arm, what are the relations of the muscles in there, the nerves, your bone, okay? What are their roles? How, are they, how they work in that region? Next is systematic anatomy. Okay, study of system. Okay, it is a study of the structures that make up a discrete body system. That is group of structures that work together to perform a unique body function. For example, a systematic anatomical study of skeletal muscular system. Okay. So, it would consider all of the skeletal muscles of the body. Okay? 
another is your circulatory system okay so that would include all the parts of your circulatory system such as your heart veins arteries the blood okay and next developmental anatomy okay the field of embryology that is concerned with the changes okay that cells tissues organs and body as a whole undergo from germ cell to each parent to the resulting offspring okay so from being um, a germ cell tapos na fertilize tapos na develop into um uh, embryo and also it includes both prenatal and postnatal development next okay. Uh, microscopic anatomy includes two major subdivisions cytology which is the study of cells and histology which is the study of tissues okay comparative anatomy all vertebrates share a basic pattern of organization organizations most noticeable during embryology okay so yun. So, we will be discussing this one as we go further in our course. So, kung makikita nyo, um, halos magkapare-pareha sila. Okay? Even the parts. But, they differ as time goes by. As they develop. Okay. Now, here are the specialties of physiology. Physiology is the study of normal function of cell, tissues, organs, organ system, and uh, organisms. Physiology can be divided into following specialties. First is cell physiology or The study of cell. So, um, it is the study of activities that takes place in a cell to keep it alive. Okay, in term of physiology, it refers to a normal function in a living organism. Next is special physiology. This is the study of the functions of specific organs. Okay, it's study of specific organ. For example, renal physiology is the study of kidney. Okay, it's um, specific. Next is systematic physiology or study of system. It includes all aspects of the function of the body systems such as cardiovascular physiology, respiratory physiology, reproductive physiology, by system okay lastly is pathophysiology or um, also known as physiopathology okay it is a converge of pathology with physiology or Yes, it's the study of disordered processes, okay? Disordered processes that cause result, uh, that cause result from or are otherwise associated with a disease or injury, okay? It's the study of effect of disease on cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Okay.
So, we will be discussing this next meeting. Okay? For now, that's all.